Howdy! I'm Cyberax with Outlandishly Crafted, and today we're going to be talking about eh, free work. You know, everybody's got an idea. Everybody's got a, oh man, it'd be so cool to do. And, you know, they just only have so much money for a budget. Most of the time, zero. And they don't have the skills to make the content that they'd like themselves. Or they don't think they do, in, in most cases, in my experience. So very often we see people come into the Discord channels or will hit me up in DMs or send me an email and... They'll say, hey, I've got this great idea. Uh, could you do, you know, one to six months of daily nonstop work for a credit? And maybe, so let's be real. <clears throat> you know, where I live, just to be able to survive, I have to have you know two to four thousand dollars a month just to be able to pay the bills and eat and have just basics. Um, so that means you you can't you're not gonna find someone that's doing this professionally or doing it um, for work or doing it to feed themselves. So then that means you've got to find someone that is a college kid that's, you know, living at home or is someone that's maybe a high school kid that's, you know, living at home. But then that one to three months of full-time work becomes six months to three or four years because they have lives. They can't work on it full time. They have all kinds of other things. So where professional, you know, when you're seeing and you say, oh man, you know, look, somebody can make this add on in a few weeks or a month or two. Well, that's typically, you know, someone that's making add ons regularly, probably for money, um, sits down for eight to 16 hours a day. And, and then that's all they do. And they, you know, they kind of like absorb into that because it's kind of how game developers do stuff. Um, and so just just on the math of it, you know, if you're out there and you're saying, well, okay, I need to find, you know, somebody to program my add-on, that, that's just run the numbers i'm just trying to set expectations so you know i don't know maybe let's just say there's 50 add-on developers out there you know in the in the discords right now and 48 of them are doing paid work maybe there's two you know that aren't that are learning their way up or maybe there's some apprentice in there that are learning their way up or some creatives that just haven't gotten into a team or haven't gotten into a partnership or and demand for add-on developers especially for bedrock for marketplace stuff is really really high so anyone that shows any skills is typically just hired right away um so there's not a big pool of people making add-ons just sitting on the sidelines and if they are they're working on their ideas because they couldn't find anybody to help them so they learned how to do it themselves and now they're making their content for them so when you jump into a discord especially one that's for helping people learn how to make add-ons and you say hey can you come work for me for free for one to six months you know or if they can't do it full-time 
you know, one month to a few years to finish a project, especially big projects. Like a lot of people's ideas are huge projects and they don't understand just the time. Um, you're asking them to stop doing what they're dreaming of to come work on what you're dreaming of. And if you're out there and, you know, you're one of those people that's been asking for free work, I would just like to ask you, well, would you drop everything you're doing and come work free for me for three months of your life full time? I'm going to bet no, because you have your own ideas and you want to work on your ideas and not other people's ideas. And that's kind of where everybody else is, is I don't really want to work on your idea for one month to, you know, six months of my life for free because, well, just getting a credit out of it isn't enough to justify the time for one. Even if it was the coolest idea that had ever been created, ever, 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 I still need to eat and have a roof and have some ownership of it. So it's really hard to see people that are asking for for stuff like that and not be like, man, I really would like to just kind of help set some expectations and kind of explain where the rest of the creators are. We're all here because no one would do free work for us. That's why we're all here learning how to create add-ons because it, it just doesn't exist. Free work is not a thing. Now, you might find a community project where you and a few people get together and have a shared idea. But in my experience, no one that starts those projects together finishes them. And maybe 1% if that ever finish. It, and if you're thinking about starting one of those type of projects, I would just really set your expectation that it is extremely difficult to finish a community project. And you can sure go out there and look at any that you can find that have been finished. But in most cases, they just don't happen. And if they do, they're extremely rare. Um, and most of the time there's a big amount of money behind them somewhere that you're probably just not seeing. And I'm not saying that you have to have money to get stuff done, but you're better off spending your time learning how to do stuff yourself so you can support it and you can enjoy it and you can free your imagination than you are going around asking other people to do free stuff. Even if they say yes and they put a week in, it, it, it won't get you anywhere. Even if they say yes and they put a month in, it won't get you anywhere. Even if they say yes and they put six months in, it won't get you anywhere because even if they deliver you a product, the second it breaks, you are now stuck. You can't fix it. You don't understand it. You can't maintain it. it. And and then you have to keep going back to them. So now this person that just spent six months making you something is now your maintenance person and has to get constant messages from you and emails and begging and, oh, this is broken and I don't understand this. So, so now they're beholden to you for what? Ever? And that's something else that people don't understand is a lot of add-ons, they need maintenance. You can't just build it and walk away. They they need to be maintained and upgraded and updated. Who Who's going to do that? If you're not willing to learn how to do those things in your own add-on, I don't think you deserve to have an add-on for free.
if you're willing to pay someone money for an add-on and not learn it yourself, then sure, you're going to always be paying for maintenance. You're going to always be paying for someone to do that for you. But if you're the one that wants to run a server or make an idea or have something that's going to be yours, that you're going to be proud of, you need to know how it works and how it was constructed. It's kind of like saying, I want to be a great baker, but I don't want to learn how to make a cake. I'll have, I'll pay someone else or I'll just, I'll have, I'll have a family member make the cake and then I'll take and I'll enjoy it with my friends and family and people and say, I'm the greatest baker ever, but I didn't bake it and I didn't learn how to do it. It, it just doesn't work. And I know at first it seems like a good idea. I'll just ask somebody to help. And oh, wow, someone will just jump in from the community. We'll get everybody together and we'll make this crazy thing. Because I saw a group of people do that on YouTube. It, you saw a group of 50 people and 1.5 billion. Those are your odds. You know, there's 1.5 billion Minecraft players, and you saw a hundred of them get together and do something social, maybe. And you'd have no idea of how difficult that was to work with those hundred people, and how many failed and never showed up again, or how many showed up a day, or how many promised to do something and never did it, and how many screwed up what they did do, and the quality of this is so bad they can't use it, and it has to be redone, and these animations are broken, and this texture doesn't match this texture, or the goal has to be redone, and the audio's messed up because it's not the right format. It, it, it's. 10,000 steps that have to be done. A lot of them in order to get something that really comes out the other end that looks and tastes good. That's something that you want to show off that the frosting is beautiful and it all comes together in some wonderful masterpiece. And you're asking other people to do those steps for you. And so... I just don't think it's feasible. I, I think, I hate to say it, but I think it's a waste of time. I just, I've spent so many years asking other people to help on projects and, hey, let's get together and, hey, let's do this or, hey, let's fundraise this. And I just don't think it works. I I, I think it's a facade. So my advice is, Take that effort and that energy and that time and learn it. Just do it. Just jump in. Don't be worried about it. Don't don't think over it. Just get in and do it. And, and this is my advice. Just put a freaking cube in block bench and, and just then put another cube next to it. And then and then, you know, just rotate it a little, put another cube in there. And then you just keep putting those cubes in there until something amazing shows up. And I, I know that seems so stupid, but I was, I don't know. Here's uh, Grandpa Tells You Old Time Stories. I was probably 14. I downloaded an OBJ of a Maya, Maya's 3D modeling program for back in the day, um, F-16. And... I just couldn't fathom that you could take one cube, one one square, and somehow take a square and then just keep putting squares together until you have an F-16 in front of you. It, it just boggles my mind to this day. But that's literally just what it is. It, it, it's just you take a cube and you you put another cube in front of it and you you put another cube in front of it and you just keep rotating them and you keep twisting them and you keep manipulating them and all of a sudden after 
little short time. It won't take you long. Something's there. And then you put some texture on it and you put some animations to it. And maybe you add some sound and some particles. And in a few hours, you can have something that is just the tip of the iceberg. And then you sleep on it and you come back the next day and you, you add a little more. And you add a little more. And, and after a week, all of a sudden, now you've got five or six entities, and they've got some animations, and they're walking around. And then maybe that next week, you put a few behaviors in them, and how maybe they follow each other, and they attack each other. Or they follow you, or you can tame them and ride them. And, and maybe one of them flies around, and, and, and you can shoot stuff from them. You're only two weeks in. Maybe a week. Maybe a few days for some. You, the time you've already spent just thinking and dreaming and, and not doing it and thinking and wishing, oh, somebody would just do this for me. And, and just a day, a few days, a week or two, you could be doing it yourself and building all of the things in your imagination and in your dreams. You could be out there being begged by other people Captain to be Hunter. able to make you make them add-ons for free and thinking man i don't want to make them an add-on right now i'm in the middle of making my own add-ons and i'm trying to make add-ons for other people to get paid so i can afford to eat so i can keep making add-ons for myself because i want to keep making my own dreams and stuff it, it it's very few people that are just sitting around thinking, man, I wish someone would come around today and ask me to, to make a project for them for free. And that, no, the, the creative people are already out there making their own dreams come true and doing their own things. That That's, that's kind of how things work. If they're just sitting around doing nothing, picking their nose, they're probably not the creative people that you want to have working on your project it, you got to kind of think about that if you show up to a discord channel and you say hey anybody want to work for you on my project and some guy says yeah hey you got any models hey send me those models over and uh, all the textures and the the, all, oh, yeah, I'll do all that for you. And then he disappears with all your assets. And then six months later, that guy uses your assets to build his dream. I, it's very rare that someone's going to show up and say, Hey, man, yeah, I got nothing to do. I was just sitting here doing nothing, just hoping you would show up and say, Hey. Let's work together on a project. It just doesn't happen. And if it does, those people are probably lazy. And you don't want them working on their project. Because if they weren't lazy, they'd be working on their own projects. I know. It sucks. But it, if you stop and you just think about it for a few minutes, I think you'll come to the same conclusion. So I would take all that energy that you're using to type stuff up on Discord and I would instead just take this first step and make it an add-on yourself. If you were real scared and you don't think it's going to go well, just get into Blockbench and use the Entity Blockbench Wizard if you want to make some entities or use the Blockbench Wizard block wizard if you want to make some blocks or use the item block bench wizard there's video guides documented guides there's all kinds of help for it I, i'm i'm gonna put this out there but hundreds to thousands of people use these guides every day to learn how to do this stuff from I don't know, eight years old, 85 years old. And most of them, 99.9% .9 of them, 
don't have any problems and do really well at it. So I think you can do well at it too. Now, if you're really willing to just jump in there, then go to the wiki.bedrock.dev, get into the getting started, go through each of the steps and set up a behavior pack and a resource pack and get some stuff in there and put maybe an entity in there. Watch a few guides, read those steps. Don't skip the steps. If you skip the steps, you get stuck. And, and then you're going to get frustrated. But do the steps, watch the guides, and, and put some stuff in the game. And I bet in hours, if not a day or two, it's going to blow your brain hole how easy it really is and how much you can do yourself without anyone else. And yes, I know. Learning JS or JSON is a struggle. But the secret is, in a lot of cases, you don't have to learn any of it. I use Bridge. I don't know JSON. I don't know JS. I'm not planning to learn either of those. And I've been doing this for four years. And you can see... What's on the screen is pretty damn impressive, right? It, and I'm not doing any coding. That's why we do bedrock. Because it's easy. So if you want to do stuff in Minecraft bedrock, just don't be scared of it or worried about it. Or don't be running around asking for free work. Because... Free and work don't go in the same sentence. That's not how life works. But instead, do it. Jump out there and just learn it. You got this. You got this. You can do it. You can just jump in and and learn it. You you really you really can. There are so many. I personally have 250 guides on this channel right here. You're watching this on. And many of them cover the wizard. But the wizard is just to get you started. It's just like some, some candy. It just get you started. But as soon as you use those wizards, if you do use them, then you jump on VS Code. Or you use Bridge Version 2. And, and you just keep going. And every day you just build a little bit more. And a little bit more. And then all of a sudden. You've got plants and space. And space stations. And you know all this stuff out here. Just doing it's thing. And you're flying around. Just having a dandy time. It's just that easy. So. Just some advice and realism. From CyberX about you know, all of these things and free work. I'm Cyberx without Landishly Crafted, and I'm about to sneeze, so I'm gonna leave you here. Thanks for watching, and hope you have a good afternoon. Yeah.